Ben Affleck just bought a new $20 million estate in Pacific Palisades without JLo. If that doesn't make the couple's divorce clear, then maybe the fact that they also listed their shared Beverly Hills mega mansion for sale will. Originally built and designed in the early 1940s, Ben's new equestrian property has since undergone an extensive renovation and expansion. The stunning home now features a five bedroom, five bath house, offering about 6,200 square feet of split level living space. Ben Affleck closed on his new Pacific Palisades mansion on Saturday, July 26th, according to real estate sources. Earlier in July, Ben and Jilo listed their Beverly Hills mega home for sale at $68 million while going through obvious marital strain. The couple bought the mansion for over $60 million in May 2023 after getting married in July 2022 and looking for a shared home for a long time. While neither Ben or Jen have publicly commented on their relationship status, a source claimed they don't have any summer plans together and are focused on their separate lives. In May, a handful of sources came forward sharing that Ben and Jen began living apart in LA due to relationship issues. Then, in late June, Ben moved his stuff out of their Beverly Hills home before JLo returned from a Europe trip. Before closing on his new bachelor pad, Ben was living in a Brentwood rental mansion for a couple of months, working at his office and spending time with his kids. Ben Affleck's new crib might not have 38,000 square feet of space like his recent marital mansion, but it's the perfect classy bachelor pad. Ben was staying in a 100K per month rental near his ex-wife Jennifer Garner and their teenage kids, but now he's seemingly put down some roots in the welcoming Sullivan Canyon community. Sullivan Canyon is set on the border of Brentwood and Pacific Palisades. And if you look into Ben's past real estate moves before Beverly Hills with JLo, this area seemed to be what he and his ex-wife Garner preferred. Ben's new home cost him $20.5 million, which is a lot considering the last buyers paid only $4.5 million in 2010. However, during the previous owner's time living here, the property underwent a huge renovation and expansion. The home was built and designed in the early 1940s by famed architect Cliff May and made to be an equestrian property. These days, the estate boasts a main house with five bedrooms and five baths, as well as about 6,200 square feet of split level space. While it might be a fraction of the size of the mansion he lived in with JLo, it's still very spacious and more than anyone would need. The stunning home is decorated with a mix of stone and rustic hardwood floors, vaulted wood beam ceilings, built-ins and steel framed windows and doors that offer views of the garden laced grounds. Set on a leafy private parcel of land spanning almost two thirds of an acre inside the Riviera Ranch Enclave, the outside of Ben's home is made of stucco, stone, and a terracotta roof. The property is hidden behind walls in a gated driveway lined with olive trees, and walking into the home, you go in through a hand carved wood door. There's a living room with fireplace once inside that also doubles as a screening room and then a formal dining room you can access through wood pocket doors. Ben will have access to a gourmet kitchen offering a large Eden Island, a pantry and high-end stainless appliances. This space also connects to a glass lined breakfast room with antler chandelier. Now other highlights of his new home include a family room and private office space. The inviting master bedroom suite has a sitting area set up beside a cozy fireplace, two sets of French doors leading outside, a walk-in closet, and a spa-style bath that has double vanities, a built-in soaking tub, and separate shower. In addition to a large detached guest house and horse stable, considering it's an equestrian property after all, the exterior amenities seem endless. There's a central courtyard with a long swimming pool next to an open air cabana with fireplace, multiple outdoor lounging and entertaining spots, and an attached three car garage. With Ben and JLo selling their marital home, it seems divorce is inevitable. Family room with wet bar and disappearing wall of glass connecting to a large terrace. The property boasts a total of 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms, including a sprawling master suite. But what else would you expect from such a palace? 
Ben and JLo's former suite features fireplaces in the bedroom's sitting area, a separate sitting room, and in at least one of the two bathrooms. Besides all of those fireplaces, a private terrace offers mountain views, and there's even a glam room. Here there's a hair washing bowl, makeup stations, and comfy furniture for stylists and assistants. Sounds like JLo would have especially loved that room. A two-story detached building boasts an indoor sports complex with a fully equipped gym, a combo basketball and pickleball court, a ping pong table, a boxing room, a sports lounge with arcade games, and a bar. The property also includes a recording studio. If all of that isn't enough, the manicured grounds offer two gated driveways lined with hedges that meet at the front of the house. The back features covered patios with a summer kitchen, and the centerpiece of all of this is a 155 foot long zero edge pool that seems to float above the canyon. Clearly, it's been a challenging year for Ben and JLo. The end of Ben Affleck's nearly two-year marriage to JLo is made clear with the sale of their massive glitzy mansion in Beverly Hill. But his recent purchase marks a significant transition for him. His new bachelor pad in the Sullivan Canyon community is a new chapter for the father and actor. This home is rich with history and charm and definitely seems to be more Ben style. There, he can focus on his work and spend time with his children, all while being near his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. For now, that'll wrap up today's house tour. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.